Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to stop and check out today's tips and tricks videos. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like button if you like all the content that we're putting out. Also be sure to hit the subscribe button to get notified whenever we post a brand new video, it will show up. Uh, if you hit the notification, you'll get a push to your phone and uh, you'll be notified on your uh, uh, mobile devices. So with that being said, thank you for joining us for today's tips and tricks video. This is a video I'm recording for Randy who asked a great question. How do I add a matrix uh, singing face to my matrix that is? And um, well, this is quite simple. Now, uh, the harder part of singing faces is actually doing the lyric track, which we're not going to cover in this uh, video, but we, but I have done a video on this in the past, which you're welcome to uh, go ahead and watch. I'll probably link it in the video description below, but we're going to get started. So uh, you can only put faces onto a mega tree or onto a matrix. Uh, you can also put faces onto a... Um, a singing faces character a custom model uh, if you uh, had chosen to do one of those and um, your the, the idea behind doing a uh, singing faces that you have a face that sings along with the music in different parts of different songs if you like and uh, they do come in quite handy and, and useful uh, I really like the idea of having them and I have used them in the past so let's show you uh, this is a 16 by 50 matrix and this is kind of important because you need to understand this before you jump in and make one this is a 16 by 50 ribbon tree and uh, also again these are both the same size it's just a different orientation on how they are perceived on uh, the viewable stage at your uh, display this here is more like a kind of a p10 panel type thing we got 128 uh, strings wide by 64 pixels tall so it's a little bit more dense it has a lot more pixels and uh, so you can do a little bit more with it but uh, as we get into this and you start seeing some things, I want you to notice that some of these spaces might not be exactly what you're looking for. If this is the size of a matrix that you have, which is like this is 16 by 50. Um, some people use a 24 by 24 as a matrix face. Uh, and it, it just all depends on exactly what you're doing uh, and if the faces will work well for you. So keep that in mind, keep the size of your prop in mind. And as we go in here, we're going to go ahead and select the big one here because it usually makes it look a little nicer. We'll select faces here and the three dots to open the dialog. And then we're going to, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click add. We're gonna give the, um, um, the face a name and uh now we know that there's a bunch of christmas and halloween and ones in there so uh we're kind of just guessing what we want to call it uh we can call it like I'll, I'll go ahead and call it santa for now uh there's no way to change the name you can uh, always delete it and redo it if you don't like it uh if you find that what you're looking for isn't exactly what you wanted um, or we don't have it in as far as it's not available in the downloads, let's, let's say. So uh, next we're going to go down here to the next drop down. We're going to go and select matrix. And when you do, you get this download images uh, button, which allows you to open up. Now, here are some of your options. It, because you can't change the name, uh, maybe Keith is watching this now. Maybe he'll add a change name button for the name of the, the face definition because you realize that, oh, I want to have Sandy. Santa Claus and Santa Claus doesn't have a matrix space that fits mine, which is 128 by 64. Um, but they should scale. I believe they should scale. But if we go in and we select, like here's Santa. He's really big though. 112 by uh, uh, 1248 or 1240 by 1252. Here's Santa waving, which is 1200 by 1200. We have Mrs. Claus at 300. That's a reasonable one. Here we've got Aussie Santa. And we have Mrs. Claus here. Okay. So uh, this is, um, there's a maximum and a minimum in here too. So that, that kind of helps you. Oh, okay. She, she can be as small as 40 by 40. Uh, that's still bigger than the 24 by 24 that, uh, that I recommended. Um, so let's go with the Aussie scene. Let's just see what the heck happens here because I haven't tried this yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and insert the face and it auto populates right to the uh, matrix. We'll go ahead and click OK. We'll click save. And now let's go over here 
And let's go into the matrix one here and let's go ahead and lay down the faces effect. And I've already gone through and, and obviously you know that we that uh, we've we went through now the size of the matrix is determined by the way you have it in the layout here. So it's in this rectangular form here. It's not it's not top to bottom. It's 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 uh, horizontal versus vertical. And uh, so in this orientation, he looks a little kind of short and stubby, but it still gets the idea that if you have yourself a lyrics track and uh, you put the faces effect on there, then you're pretty much good to go. Now, one of the things you need to do whenever you're sequencing is uh, you need to set this to timing track here. Drop down the drop down to select the timing where you have the lyric track placed, and that's how you get it to work. And then ob obviously here too, you want to change this uh, uh, face definition to uh, the correct definition. Now, uh, many people don't know this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this, uh, throw another uh, faces effect down here. Um, and go across, but you can see that we have Santa selected because that was in this other effect here, but the mega tree doesn't have any definitions in them. I'm gonna change this to rendered, and there actually is a pre-rendered face that's built into Xlight. So if you don't wanna build a, uh, a face or download one, there is a basic face that you can just use uh, that's available. Um, I think there's an outline for him too. Yeah, look, he gets outlined. Looks like a ghost. It's actually kind of cool. So uh, folks there, I hope you enjoyed this tips and tricks video. There's more on singing faces on the video down below. I'll put it in the description of the video. And uh, if you like the video, make sure you like it, share it with, with your friends. If you loved it, remember to subscribe by hitting the big red button down below. Questions and comments, obviously down in the comment sections. If you have any recommendations for videos, please let us know in the video description below what you need help with. I like to keep these short and sweet videos uh, so that uh, it's a, a lot of information packed into one little video and short so that you don't get bored and fall asleep to the sound of my horrible voice. So that's everything I have for you today, folks. If you haven't done yet, so please hit up us on pixelprodisplay.com website. We have an amazing sequence club where we create sequences for you so that you don't have to sequence if you don't want to. Uh, we, we, we don't charge a whole lot and they are some heck of a good uh, set of sequences in there. And if you're interested, we also have a ton of videos that are available to view on the Pixel Pro Display website as well as a number of webinars. We hold them every other week and you're welcome to join us for those as well. More information on the website, come check us out. Thanks for joining us and have an awesome day. We'll see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains.